What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be teaching you how to access the dark web. Let's get right into it. So first things first, I need to give you a disclaimer that I do not suggest going to the dark web. I will not ask you to go to the dark web and I will not be sharing any websites for the dark web. The dark web is dark. This is purely educational. If you go to the dark web, it is of your own risk. But if you're going to do it, this is how you could. So, as I am not sharing any links, in order to do this, we are going to have to open up our web browser. In order to access the dark web, you would need to use an engine called the Tor Browser. Now what the Tor Browser does is it helps you to connect to the deep web or the dark web servers. So I am using Windows, so I would get Windows. Now what the Tor browser does is it links your machine through a string of other machines in order to get to your final destination, which would be a website. Whereas normal browsers connect your machine straight to the other servers. Unless of course you were using a VPN. The way that that works is your machine connects to the VPN server and then connects to the website. Well, the Tor browser acts like a huge string of VPN servers that finally connects you to your website. So the Tor browser ends up being very sluggish and very slow most of the time. After you would finish downloading the file, all you would have to do is run it. And then you get to select your language and press OK and then you would be able to install. After you install, just like anything else, you would be able to choose if you want to add it to the start menu and create desktop shortcuts. And then of course you would be able to decide if you want to run the Tor browser right off the bat. If you run the Tor browser, you would be greeted with this screen right here where it says connect to Tor. You would have to choose connect and then it would connect to the Tor relays. Two huge differences between the Tor browser and a regular internet browser is that it is next to impossible for websites and other entities to track you if you were to use the Tor browser because it is like a super strong VPN. And because of this, the Tor browser even suggests that you do not maximize the window because then websites will be able to track you based on your screen size. Now, just simply accessing a website such as YouTube is not connecting to the dark web. The dark web websites end with .oionion or .onion. So, for example, if you wanted to see a dark web website or a dark web search engine, you could go to http colon forward slash forward slash cnkj 6 nippubgycuj dot onion. Now, as you can tell, this is not a very normal looking website. But this unnormal looking website would bring you to Torch. So Torch, for example, is a search engine that you can use on the dark web. Now I wouldn't search anything here because you never know what is going to come up. Thank you for watching this video. This was how to access the dark web. It was purely educational. If you enjoy, leave a like. If you did, leave a dislike. If you're new, subscribe. And don't forget to leave me a comment. I will see you in the